Are we, are we officially live? Oh, hey. Okay. I was like, let me know whenever I'm ready to say hi. Hello, everybody. Uh, surprise, we're live. Um, so today, I, I am actually testing out a technique that I have had kind of floating around in my head for a minute, um, just kind of seeing how well it's going to work and if maybe this should have been a full Jerry's Live show, but um, we're just jumping straight into my test. <laughs> so um, We're also testing out some of our new equipment to see how well we can stream to not only YouTube, also Facebook, and then Instagram and TikTok as well. So we're gonna be probably doing some troubleshooting behind the scenes. If you guys are on TikTok and Instagram and you're having a hard time seeing the screen, maybe jump over to YouTube because our screen's gonna be a lot bigger and less cropped in. Um, and yeah, if you are on Facebook and YouTube, I believe you can also ask me questions while I'm fiddling around with art supplies here and there's a lot around me. I, I kind of built myself a, um, an art nest. I have a lot of stuff. So what this is, is a idea I had where uh, we have these little Da Vinci panels that are raw birch. Uh, I didn't even actually unwrap this one. Uh, so yeah, it's just raw birch is the finish. Uh, and that's all of these except for this, this one as actually a canvas. Um, so all of these are raw birch. And I was like, you know, I, it's not finished. There's no uh, sealant or anything on the wood, so I was curious if I could stain it. But when it comes to staining wood, if you've ever done artwork on something that's like a piece of furniture that you've kind of like reclaimed for art, uh, I always had the issue of the stain affecting my paint and affecting whatever I put on it and kind of coming through all of my colors and making it look gross. So I'm trying to figure out a more archival way of kind of doing that, I guess. So uh, this right here is just a whole lot of testing of me figuring out different acrylic paints, different consistencies, different brands, seeing what they could do on top. Um, and I mostly wanted to do colored pencils on top and I kind of figured out that any acrylic paint works, uh, especially if you get it kind of watered down. Uh, and because this is an absorbent surface, it'll grab onto your pigments and it will hold onto that color without having any kind of adhesion issues. Uh, and then because it's a lighter kind of wash, you can still see that really, really fun wood stain through it. Uh, and actually, because these are cradled, I have the wood stained all the way around, <laughs> which makes me happy. Uh, and I can also put co the colored pencils on the side I can also paint on top of this easily. You know, this is a, a art panel. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff on here, but I specifically wanted a colored ground with colored pencils uh, on it. And so um, the other thing I was testing here is uh, the acrylic mixed with water rather than mixed with, um, excuse me, mixing it with varnish. Now this actually is a mixture I always Pull that on, I forgot. Uh, that's actually a mixture of, I just grabbed the Creative Inspirations. This is a medium and varnish. Um, so I have a matte and I have a gloss and in here, I just mixed both bottles so it's now satin. Um, so I have a satin finish of acrylic medium and then I mix the other ones with water 
and um, I wanted to see how well the colored pencils would go on to that versus a varnish. Um, this is just varnish only if I were to lay down a, a layer of that. Because um, I was also thinking if you had maybe some pencil sketch lines or things that you like maybe you drew on here like I have my pencil here uh, and then varnished it to really get it locked in and then went on top of that almost like you're almost like cre creating your own personal color book coloring book um, but just different layering techniques so that is essentially we are caught up uh, oh the other test that I did so on this so far was also uh, a layer of acrylic staining my wood and then a layer of medium and then nothing else and I did find that if I varnished my acrylic in the colored pencils didn't go on as opaquely like this one right here is probably the better uh, example where you can see the top was just the acrylic wash and this like I split it almost in half where you can see that, that line this down here has satin medium and the, the pencils didn't go on top of it very well so I'm just, just fiddling around with these and so far I have uh, my cat he does not have a name if we have ideas for names I'm always open um, but that's we're caught up so far and uh, I'm just gonna be kind of fiddling around with this seeing how opaque I can get these colored pencils to go down and so far it's pretty good uh, the other thing I ha do have on here I, for I almost forgot about this um, the little highlights in the eyes is actually a jelly roll pen because I have that sitting on my desk <laughs> Um, just, uh, this is the Sakura Jelly Roll pen, uh, just white ink and it's really opaque. One of my favorite white pens and, uh, you could, I probably just could use a paint marker as well. Um, so that's, we are all caught up officially. How are we doing on all the platforms? Yay! It's still going. Awesome. So yeah, if you guys are interested in asking me any questions on this, uh, feel free to pop them in the chats. I believe we could only do that on YouTube and Facebook though. So if you are on Instagram or TikTok, hop over to that platform and uh, give us a thumbs up and let us know that you're watching. Where are you watching from? I would love to know. And then uh, Amanda is over here, amazing moderator Amanda, and she's gonna ask all of our questions uh, and, excuse me, serious, serious face. Uh, we have Michael behind her giving her bunny ears. <laughs> I saw that. Mm -hmm. um, Ginger has a question yeah. on YouTube. She wanted to know if you had tried using Golden's Isolation Coat over or under pencils. You know what? I have not. And that's the thing is that acrylic mediums, there are so many out there that I just merely grabbed this one. Um, and that would be something to test. And you know what? Can I get a piece of paper? Actually, here, I'm going to do this. Try. Golden. I'm going to put a note there, possibly, because um, I, if I do a layer right now, I don't know if it's going to dry, but can you grab me an isolation coat? I know we have a jar of it sitting on our shelf over there because um, I could actually use this as a tester so I can kind of fiddle around with that. Um, I also could do a, another couple of tests on here because I think this is just acrylic um, and I did actually have the foresight to, yes please, um, and a, do I have a smaller, oh I do have smaller brushes down here. Look at that. I knew me. I prepared myself. All right, so we have the isolation coat. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna leave this nice and pristine just in case. I don't know what I'm gonna draw on it, but it's it's fluorescent pink. How could we not hate that? Like, I am, I am very excited for this. I don't know why I've been leaning into all of the fluorescent colors lately in my artwork, but it makes me so happy. So, got Golden's isolation coat. I'm going to just, Shake it a little bit, uh, just to make sure that nothing has settled to the bottom because acrylic medium, some of the things do tend to separate in the bottle, so I always get a little shaky shake like a maraca. And then I'm gonna pour just a touch into my ceramic palette here, which is, I love ceramic palettes because it's super easy to clean in case you ever 
need something that's just, especially with acrylics, you can always just let it dry and then kind of peel it off. All right, so I'm gonna try and let this dry and hopefully we have enough time to kind of see how that does. Uh, I'm gonna just put it here. There's a lot on my brush. I wanna do a thin coat. Because I think the, the thicker you get, the more it's gonna probably repel the wax from my colored pencils. At least that's in my head what I'm thinking it's gonna do. Uh, so, not entirely sure. This is, we're testing, we're playing. This is the, my favorite part of the job. Do you have any more questions? Yeah, Nicole was wondering what medium makes acrylic turn matte without diluting um, the pigment that's in the paint? Um, so it's, it's an additive that they, they put in, and I, what is that? I cannot remember. Matt, do you remember? Because it's, it's a mattifying agent, and off the top of my head, I cannot remember. <laughs> um, can you look it up? Because I, I know this is information that I've, I've come across before. It's just... I got you. Yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to find that answer for you. I just, off the top of my head, I cannot remember what it is that they put into paint that makes it matte down and takes that glossy sheen away. Calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate? Oh, I don't know. Because it's, it's no, calcium carbonate is one that they typically have used. Um, but is calcium that, carbonate uh, whitens, doesn't it? Yeah, it'll make things more... It makes it more milky so is okay, the problem. For this case. Yeah, and that's, calcium carbonate I think is something they use in... You put it in paint, but it does pastel things out. Yeah. Um, the other thing that pastels it out is a titanium dioxide. Uh, pigment and that's it's essentially white pigment so that would not be a good solution either um, off the top of my head yeah I know it. Oh. it's hard to keep all these supplies straight in your what head are you about uh, acrylic so if you take acrylic paint and you mattify it down what is the thing that mats it oh, there's a lot. I know there's probably several things excuse me uh, several things that they use Depends on the brand. But I think there's one that's consistently used across the board, and I just can't remember what it is. Silicon dioxide, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum oxide, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, kaolin, kaolin. How do you say that? I don't Blank. know, but you want to say that louder? Because I'm not going to be able to repeat all of those. <laughs> A lot of sciencey things. Art. Yeah, because it's not only are we looking for something to modify it down, we want it to be archival, so. I should take this moment to say, please don't use baking soda. Yeah, don't ever use baking soda. Because that is popping up on here as a bad Or, or cornstarch, I think, is also another one. Cornstarch is not a grand idea. It, do, it just ruins the adhesion of your paint. I, I know it might mattify it down, but it's just a really bad idea for the archivability of your art. <laughs> It's not a grand idea. So, um, and if we don't actually find the answer, you know who we can ask? Uh, the chemist from um, the paint supplier. I can ask him, I can send him an email. And if you're asking these things on uh, Facebook or YouTube, if it's specifically if it's Facebook, I can go back in and answer that if we don't get the answer while we're live here. Um, and then if it's on YouTube, if you leave it as a actual comment and not in the live chat, I can respond back to you and answer it that way. Um, Cause it, I'm thinking it might actually take me emailing a chemist who works in the paint industry. Uh, Cause I cannot remember off the, I think it, I want to say it was silica there or something. Be. That's one of them. That's one of the many. Um, but is that the one that they're typically using? Great question. I love questions that stump us, that make all of the teeth, all of them behind the, the cameras are all going, or like on a computer, looking looking for answers. I love it. And then a month later, you see a Jerry's live show. <laughs> yes. That's, this is how we end up with show topics, essentially. Yeah, I think a lot of brands try to keep that specific ingredient that they use 
terms for yeah. how to find things proprietary. Ooh, proprietary. So it might be difficult for us to find the answer. Okay. Maybe it is difficult for us to find the answer. We're struggling a little bit. Yeah. And again, it probably will vary from brand to brand. So uh, that's one of those things. Um, but I can tell you baking soda is not a great answer. Don't do that. I can tell you what it's not. Right. It's also not like dust or sugar or flour. Mm -mm. Also, I have a very large coffee here. It's delicious. All right. So I got a fairly opaque little ring of uh, turquoise around his his head. I'm, I'm assuming it's a he. I don't know. Maybe it's a she. I don't know whose cat this is. Not mine. Would love to have this cat, but Nugget might have a problem with that. Um, so I'm going to, again, go in and continue to layer. That's the one thing I do love about um, the colored pencils. And the reason why I kind of started this whole endeavor to begin with is because I love the the subtle shifts of color that you can get in colored pencils as long as you you have that practice uh, with your hand where you're not just going in and carving down the colored pencil although if you want to do that go for it but um, if you have a lighter hand and you can kind of uh, start heavier and f almost fluff it off and kind of uh, lift the pressure as you're drawing it tends to give you a much more subtle shift in color and um, almost like a gradient when it comes to colored pencils and it's I don't know colored pencils are one of those things where like when I started off as a kid this is something that was very very accessible to me so I it's it's something that I always forget is around but I uh, I do love very much and if you guys have any art supplies that you absolutely love that you've worked with for years let me know but that was the whole purpose as to why I kind of started doing this. Um, just asking questions of like, I wonder what happens if I can do this. And uh, this is usually also how I end up with Jerry's live shows. Because I will say this right here would be a very slow process. Uh, colored pencils are slow. It's, it's not a very quick medium. I always forget that there's a third layer of... I'm working with the 120 set of colored pencils. So they have these trays. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this because I know on Instagram they have a very limited view <laughs> and TikTok. Um, so if you, you see me doing this, that's because it's right in the middle of their screen. Again, just finding out how streaming is working. This is the majority of the test. Uh, so... Uh, the 120 set has three of these trays, and I always forget that there's a third level because I lift the first two, and then uh, I'm always like, well, where are my grays? They're on the bottom. All right, so I kind of want to gray his little eyeball out a little bit, and I'm going to probably try and lay down a little bit more color. I do like how his eyeballs are popping. He's a... Uh, intently staring. All right. Just to kind of darken that down. And I wonder, I wonder, wonder, I'm gonna take the white and lighten the value of this area. Also, you gotta remember with uh, colored pencils, the more you lay down, there's a point where you're not gonna be lay, able to lay down more on top of it. It does have like almost a maximum capacity that you have to keep in mind. But I do want to just lighten these little highlights in his eyeballs. It's very subtle, so I hope you guys can see that. But again, testing to see just how well I can do this. Do you remind us what colored pencils we're using? We are using the Cezanne. Um, these are the traditional pencils, not the um, not the water soluble. These are just regular colored pencils, but the brand is Cezanne. Uh, you can probably not see that on the white pencil. Let me grab something that has a little bit better. There we go. Um, so yeah, they have the the name is Cezanne, and then they always have the number down here. 
Um, I'm using just a variety of colors. I'm kind of shifting back and forth between uh, my darks and my lights and kind of just layering the color and seeing how well this surface is taking it. But I'm using a set of 120. I actually started off originally with the set of 24. Um, and then I realized that I wanted more color choices, so I went bigger. And I got the set of 120 um, that is currently spread out on my desk over here, so uh, I, it's going to be really hard for me to pick that back up. Ooh, this is about to all fall down. All right, so I think I need a more, like, yellow ochre kind of color. So I'm going to just pop this into the corner of his eye just to kind of warm that up a bit. Cause it looks like he almost has like one green eye and one blue eye. Cats are weird. They got weird eyes. I think um, if you guys have seen uh, any of the previous Jerry's Live shows, uh, I think the last one of 2023 had my little brand new baby Nugget, uh, who is a gray tabby that the universe gifted to me. Um, she's, her eyes are finally starting to really develop a whole lot of color and it's like a, a weird golden green. It has uh, like almost this color yellow and then it has a ring of circle, like a green, like almost a teal green right around the middle of it. And I don't know if it's done shifting or not, but she's a pretty kitty. I think, I think that's good for the eyeballs. All right, now, I also have um, a reference over here that I have, it's uh, a little beat up, and it's been moved around the office a couple times, so ignore the, uh, how well that is held up, but I believe, it's been a while since I've gotten that reference photo, obviously why it's a little beat up, but I think that's from a royalty-free web website as well. All right. I'm going to shift that color down a little bit more yellow. I'm using very light pressure here. Not trying to completely load the surface here with pigment just yet because I might still want to shift it just a little bit. And once you put down colored pencils, like I said, there is a maximum quantity the surface can take, so I don't want to reach that level before I get it to where I want it to be. Also, these Sphinx cats are just so wrinkly. Like, I just want to, like, squish his face. Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. I feel like cats are so squishable, but they're cats, so you just can't. Which is mildly frustrating. Okay. This is actually, I'm fairly impressed with how well this is doing. I will say. Pretty happy with this. And his little nose as well. It's more yellow in the center and more pink. Like a pinky orange on the outside. Let's see what we can find. Mm, maybe this. Let me also just double check these. Here, this is the same color. Yeah, that's a little too orange. Oh, sorry. I think that's a little off camera. But yeah, that was a little too orange. And also, I believe that isolation coat is dry. Hey, all right. So um, I'm going to start over here where there is no isolation coat. And I'm going to go into it and see how well it does. Not bad, but I can see right there is the end of where I started painting it. And you see how pigmented that is and how unpigmented this is. 
that's that it's a very subtle difference between the two of them but I definitely can tell here this is gonna make it a lot more obvious exactly where the end of that is so that difference so what I would I personally want is this right here I do not want this um, so I don't think the isolation coat is for me uh, and I mean it's it is a fabulous idea um, especially if you have something underneath but that's why I wanted to just do a layer of acrylic and then uh, go in with the colored pencils and then you can varnish on top of these no problem they don't smudge or anything you know colored pencils are pretty uh, solid once you get it officially on there um, but it just I don't think the isolation coat is working but that was a great idea I will say I was what Gigi was that Gigi I think it was Gigi it was ginger. ginger not G not Gigi it's ginger ginger snaps all right so I need a cat nose pink color I remember I am coloring this on a blue ground so that does tend to change kind of how it, it affects my color and I think this pink is better this is definitely a more coral pink I'm very excited about that all right and get his nose just a little darker I feel like by the time this uh, is done, we probably won't need a whole class on this. I'm, I'm essentially teaching it right now. <laughs> yeah, I like how we said you didn't have to talk. You could just paint. You could basically get she can't not talk. Okay, I can't not talk. I'm on. I'm live. It's weird. I don't know. I just camera starts rolling and my mouth just runs away with me. We've trained you well. Yes. <laughs> this is my job. I love my job. Have yeah, I was like, I love my job. <laughs> so, let me ask some questions. Mm -hmm. But you were just talking. I, you could talk, but just. Yeah. Oh, okay. How's everybody feeling today? <laughs> <laughs> so how is everybody feeling today? I feel like we need that, like, blah, 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 blah. That, that sound effect. Alright, two one two. I know he's like blue tinged, but I don't know if I hate that. Wonder if if I had known where his little face would be. And I didn't tint it with acrylic. And I still don't don't dislike it. There's still only a very, very thin layer of colored pencils down so far. Down there. Look at your notes. What are we? What are Keep we? Painting. Uh... Keep painting. Okay. I'm just. But I'm uh, you want? Theories. Okay. So you want me to paint and look over there? Yeah, look here and do your best. Just look at your notes for a second. Okay. We have no image of her face that we can see clearly. <laughs> Again, we're testing equipment, guys, so just bear with us. I don't know what they're doing, but they want me to paint and look over there, well, which I, think, I... I think you can look back now to where you want. If you're on no, so. no, I'm, I'm committed to this. Uh, 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 
Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I would ruin my little cat face. It's difficult. Difficult. I mean, I, I'm good, guys, but I'm not that good. I do need to look at my hands and see what I'm doing. Alright, this little ear gets real dark in here. Again, I'm calling him a he, and this could be a girl cat. I don't know. I'm sorry, kitty. What? If I have misgendered. Not Katie. Oh. Kitty. Oh. <laughs> Not the first time that's happened. That's valid. This is still the wrong color. But I can still get that darker because I have not reached the maximum quantity of colored pencil. I'll work on his little ear shadows over here. Um, Ginger also said she hasn't used those colored pencils before. Do you know whether like some of them are more opaque than others or are they all around the same? Um, I mean, I don't think I've used every single colored pencil in the 120 set. I might take that back because there's a possibility that I swatched them all out at one point in time for some odd purpose. Um, but off the top of my head, I do believe they're all about the same. Um, as far as opacity, I don't think that generally shifts too much. Um, like even the really bright colors like a lime green, um, are, I believe they're pretty opaque. Yeah. Like it's a lighter color, but like you can get a solid layer out of that. I know it's, it's really hard to see cause I decided to put the green on top of the blue. Good job me. Um, but <laughs> Let's do this over here. So, yeah, really, really opaque colors as far as like a colored pencil is concerned. I love these pencils. I think they're fantastic. They, they really have a wonderful selection of colors. Oh my goodness, Bowie is asleep over there. Also, side note, there's a baby in the in the studio. I feel like he needs to come up here, but like, you know, he is asleep, so. When I say baby, I mean a puppy. <laughs> there's a puppy. <laughs> Coffee break. All right. Um, no, I'm gonna go back to that peachy kind of color. And just getting the shapes of the shadows in here in general. And then I'm going to shift the colors with the colored pencils just ever so slightly. Very subtle. color as well. So I feel like we got a good layer of this down. I might be able to add like a bit of a highlight. Maybe the white. I definitely need to sharpen. I 
like that would be the way to go. There we go. Kind of remove that blue tinge. It's not completely gone, but I think that's better. I feel like with colored pencils, I always end up going a lot lighter and then being like, oh yeah, I need to go darker, but it's just, I feel like it's better to approach it cautiously until you understand what you're doing, I guess. There we go, yeah, I like that. to his hair. Alright. Alright, add a little bit of white. You get more of like a lavendery kind of color. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. It's also very unnerving that I can hear everybody frantically whispering behind the camera and I have no idea what's going on. Are you looking for a stylist? Yes, we found one. <laughs> I know that's what everyone's like, we gotta find one, we gotta find one. And that's the panic that's happening behind the camera. Not me being like, is something going horribly awry? No, they just wanted a stylus. That's great. Just an equipment experiment. It's valid, honestly. I need to get a little bit more purple over here to match. It's got these weird, like, weird little shadows here, but it's still such a light value that I need to brighten it up with white. But I definitely prefer, I always end up reaching for like a purple or a blue for my shadows. Moving into Amanda color territory, that yeah. lavender. I know, I know you'd be so upset about that. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need more of this peachy color for his ears. So I feel like with a little bit of this too much blue coming through, it looks a little bit like a zombie. A zombie cat. <gasps> He's awake? <gasps> the baby. The baby. Hold on. Hold on. If you are seeing me on TikTok or Instagram, you need to go to YouTube or Facebook because everybody meets <laughs> Bowie. We also have been calling him Botato or Bo Round. And he's just the cutest little baby. Here, I'm going to just, just right here. He's not eating my art. He's just sniffing. He's so precious, and I want to steal him from Christina, but I'm pretty sure my babies would be very upset. Oh, he's so sleepy. Oh, it's no. Hi, babies. <laughs> How about? All right, so this is going to be the rest of the stream. Just me holding this baby. Oh, he just yawned. He's exhausting me. So cute. Yes, I'm getting all of the sympathy views. For all the pug pug lovers out there. Listen, you amused. would be much happier if I had snackies. Oh yeah. yes, yes, that's it absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Alright, hit them back. Anybody who is uh, wanting a bow cameo in every show from now on. 
make sure you hit that like button, put it in the chat. Dog is a requirement every show, right? Yes, please do this. I would like to have him guest appear all the time because he's just so cute. Although now that he is awake from his nap, he is probably going to spaz out in about five minutes and then eat a snacky snack and go right back to sleep. Do love. <laughs> Can you guys tell that we really love animals here? I'm drawing a cat and I'm holding a dog. Love it. So if you Are we really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Up in just a few yeah, I was like, I didn't know how long this was gonna go. I mean, I can just doodle all day. Well, wow. so. <laughs> Honestly, if I had it our way, we'd just have like the weather cam and just have him live stream. The weather the cam, time. just a live view of yeah. my desk at all yeah, times. Clouds coming in. That would be. It's yeah. I would like a screen in the back of me with all the <laughs> weather. Um, but every now and then, Bowie just needs to walk across. <laughs> all right. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching me uh, surprise art uh, for the day. Uh, like I said, we were testing cameras and everything um, because we wanted to see if we could stream not only to YouTube, to Facebook, uh, but also to Instagram and TikTok. So if you guys are over on that platform, uh, thank you so much for uh, viewing this random video. I appreciate it. You can always go back over to YouTube or Facebook for a larger video. Yeah, view uh, and then of course if you um, always want to check out all the art supplies that I've been using we do have it on Jerry's uh, that's the company we work for is Jerry's and uh, this is what we do all the time we just get together and do some really fun art shenanigans and I teach you things about technique uh, or like this is again just a test uh, for possible technique show um, and just experimentation just to kind of fill up the time here um, and then, of course, uh, next Tuesday, the show is going to be, it's going to be my show, because Mott and I usually switch back and forth uh, teaching different shows. And next week is going to be actually me, surprise, surprise, expressively uh, painting pet portraits. It's a very pet heavy it week. Like a it is almost like, yeah, a bit of a spoiler here. But it's going to be in acrylics, so I hope you guys join us next week. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, yes. Sorry. This is Michael. This is why he's here. Uh, it's going to be every... Jerry's Live is every Tuesday. It starts at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it looks like we're going to be going not only live to YouTube, Facebook. We have Instagram now as well as TikTok. Um, and I will see you guys next week, next Tuesday. See you then.